Bart's a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Hmm, you're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. You belong in Ravenclaw! It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Interesting. Yes, Professor Bins does draw a lot of it. Must be different. All right. Deep breath. I'm not sure this is the right spot. In my opinion, detonation is a load of rubbish. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. Box. <coughs> Let's get out of here. That 
wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. with, but I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cosy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course! I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting.
think I... Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, you've brought hope to this old one-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Some... I'll take that, thank you. Nothing. Accio! Oh, no statues here. I'd best keep looking. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. 
all statues of jackdaws. Accio! Revelio! Accio! Here's a welcome surprise. Revelio. Accio. <laughs> Nothing. This'll do nicely. aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Accio! No statues here. I'd best keep looking. <laughs> Nothing. No statues here. What's happening? Could it be? Someone solved my puzzle after all these years. Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Ah, oh, those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. <laughs>